<laughs> was just <laughs> silly. Uh, but but back to you in terms of how have you evolved? What's been the evolution in your own politics? I mean, for example, you were, you were very strong in terms of the threat of radical fundamentalist jihadism. Still am. I know. Yes, I think uh, liberals should stop booing me for pointing out that Islam is not like other religions, that is a unique threat. and that yeah, there but, is it, but it's not Islam you're against. It's All religions are stupid. They are. Yeah. I mean, you're, I, I doubt if you're really religious. It's very, it'd be very hard for me to believe that you actually believe in these uh, intellectually embarrassing anachronisms from the Bronze Age. Do you really believe in the Bible, I'm which covers all my bed. The, the, the Bible, which supports slavery, which is no, pro polygamy, no, which not. believes a guy lived no. inside of a I, whale? You know, I'm, no. as you know from this program, I'm a I devotee do. of science, too. Right. <laughs> okay. So uh, I heard... No one covering all bets. I, I saw Howard Dean on oh. TV the other day, oh, yeah. and he said something uh, along the order of, he said, uh, the people in ISIS are... Uh, I said, I'm about as uh, Islamic as they are, you know, distancing the vast numbers yeah, of right. Islamic people around right. the world from... That's just not true. It is true. It is not true, Charlie. There is a connecting tissue between... Hey, uh, you mean, you know, behind every... Behind every Muslim is a future member of some radical... Let me finish. I thought I was doing that. <laughs> uh, there are illiberal beliefs that are held by vast numbers of Muslim people that I don't think... Vast Howard... number of Christians, too. No, no, that's people. not true. Not true. Vast numbers of Christians do not believe that if you leave the Christian religion, you should be killed for it. Vast numbers of Christians do not treat women as second-class citizens. Vast numbers of Christians no, I agree with that. do not just believe said. that if you draw a picture of Jesus Christ, you should get killed for it. Um, so, yes, does ISIS do Khmer Rouge-like activities where they just kill people indiscriminately who aren't just like them? Yes. And would most Muslim people in the world do that or condone that? No. no. But most Muslim people in the world do condone violence just for what you think that? they do first of all know. they say it they shout it Vast from the majority of Muslims absolutely say that? there's a pew poll of egypt done a few years ago 82 percent i think it was said uh stoning is the appropriate punishment for adultery over 80 percent thought uh, death was the appropriate punishment for leaving the muslim religion I'm sure you know these things. I know. I'm, well, I do. So, but so I, to but claim I don't, that this I don't religion believe... is like other religions is just naive and plain wrong. It is not like other religions. Uh, the New York, Times point, New York Times pointed out an uh, op-ed a couple of weeks ago that in Saudi Arabia, um, just since August 4th, I think it was, they have beheaded 19 people. Most for non-violent crimes, right. including homosexuality. Those, they didn't get the hands off the thief. Right. Okay. So we're upset that uh, ISIS is beheading people, which yeah. we should be upset about. But Saudi Arabia does it, and they're our good friends because they have oil. Right. Okay? But they do it too. This is the center of the religion. I'm but not they're, saying... they're now fighting against ISIS too. They're joining us in the fight, as is the Emirates. As well, is they are both Jordan, fighting ISIS, and, and, and they are for ISIS. Well, it's not the government. I mean, some of the Certainly privatons. the government. It's, they, a, it's a bit like today no. this, <laughs> about Qatar. It's a big story in New York Times, which you Absolutely. may have seen. Absolutely. About Qatar. Yeah, but... You know, and there's some guy there is supporting who's a... Muslim in... But, I mean, in, in Mecca, where uh, infidels, right. non-Muslims, are not even allowed in, in the holy parts of the city. I mean, right there, mm -hmm. we don't have that example in other uh, right. religions. Okay, they do behead people. Now, if they were beheading people in Vatican City, which is the equivalent of <laughs> Mecca, Mecca in... Right. Don't you think there'd be a bigger outcry oh, about it? So this is the soft bigotry of low expectations well, I, that we like have that with, term, with Muslim people. From, yeah. When they do crazy things and believe crazy things, somehow it's just not okay. talked about nearly as much. Would you come to this table and have a debate about this with a moderate Muslim? Find one, yes. I, find I, one. I promise you I'll find one. I, need find a Muslim. I do believe that, that, that what we see with ISIS is not representative of... As I said, connecting tissue. It's not no, representative not as of the right. Islamic religion. Again, I don't think the Koran teaches them to do this kind of well, thing. Well, you're wrong about that. The Koran absolutely has on every page uh, uh, stuff that's uh, horrible about how the infidel should be treated. But, for example, again, ISIS says that, we should, that they should uh, 
perform genital mutilation on all women 11 to 46. Right. Would most Muslims agree with that? No. Or right. carried out? No. But as Ayan Hirsi Ali points out, she says, and, and can, I, can we really say, too. well, and she would know better yeah, than you would want to exactly. She said, can we really but, say that, victim, that women are treated equally in the Muslim world? I no. mean, their, their testimony in court is very often counted as half. They need permission to leave and, the and, house but, in but, some but, places. But a lot of, uh, mo lot of so, moderate, moderate <laughs> Muslims would say, in fact, one of the things that, that we need to modernize is the idea of the way we treat women. But, Lots of them. But in this country, if you just use the wrong word about women, they go nuts. And in all these other countries, they should. they're doing things like making them wear burqas. And I hear liberals say things like, well, they want to. They want to. <laughs> They've been brainwashed. You know, they don't want it's, yeah. it's like saying a streetwalker wants to do that. So let me just talk about this because I think find this interesting, too.